Hello and welcome back. My name is Latoya and today I have prepared a flow and restore sequence. So the first part of our practice will be a slow half the flow and the second part of our practice will be restorative. As far as props today, you may need uh, two blocks. Just have two blocks on hand just in case. Um, feel free to have an eye, uh, an eye pillow or even just a folded blanket or washcloth if you would like to have that for Savasana at the end. Um, you will need actually two, well, two bolsters or two things that are kind of similar to bolsters. And I wanted to kind of show you, you know, if you don't have a bolster, you can take two blankets. This is what I used to do, take two like fleece blankets. And I'll actually be using this today for one of my bolsters. Um, stack them up, fold them up, stack them, and then roll them up. And when you roll them, you have a bolster. Okay, so that works really good as well. So you're going to need at least two things that resemble bolsters or at least one bolster and then maybe you can just stack some blankets on the top. Okay. All right. So yeah, you got this, whatever you need, I'm sure you already have. Don't put too much thought into it. Let's just do it. All right. Let's get started. So we'll start our practice today in easy pose with her legs in a cross, cross leg position. And cross your legs the opposite of what you would normally cross them. Okay, so maybe with your um, left foot in front. And just begin to ground through your sit bones, your spine nice and tall. Close your eyes or soften your gaze if that's more comfortable. And just begin taking some slow deep breaths in and out of your nose. Notice anywhere where you're holding any tension and try to soften a little bit more on each exhale. Maybe send your breath to those areas and soften on the exhale. Slowly begin to open your eyes and let's come into a bound angle with the soles of your feet touching. Or if you're more comfortable with staying in Sukhasana, then that's fine as well. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and start with some side bends. Let's go ahead and start warming up our spine. So just lay your elbow just under your knee, under the crease here of your leg. Land your palm on your feet and send your right arm up and over. Rolling that shoulder back so you're not falling forward. And up to center. Inhale. Arm up. Let's take it to the right. On an exhale. Starting to center, and now let's take some twist. So just place your left hand on your right knee, your right arm behind you, lengthen your spine on an inhale and twist on the exhale. Okay. 
and release and taking it to the left. And returning to center, let's go ahead and meet in tabletop pose for cat cow. Knees under hips, wrist under shoulders. Inhale, round your spine down, send your hip, sending your hips up. And exhale, arch your spine, sending your head and your top bend down. And let's continue this at your own pace. Now maybe start to kind of uh, roll your hips a bit. Add some hip rolls if this feels good. If not, just stay in cat cow. Downward facing dog, move your hands maybe an inch or two in front of you, curl your toes and send your hips up and back. Your feet hip width apart. Your hands shoulder width apart, arms nice and straight. Maybe walking your heels or just keep your knees bent. Now slowly begin to walk your feet forward and then your hands back, coming into a dangling pose. Just let your head hang here. And slowly begin to come up. Very slowly your head coming up last. Then go into the front of your mat for a high lunge. Arms up and stepping your left foot back. Keeping that left knee bent. Just breathing into it. Let's take a slight side twist. Bring your right arm down to the back of your left thigh. And coming back to center, inhale, warrior two. Pivot that left foot parallel to the back of your mat. Heel and arch aligned. Making sure that your knee is still over your ankle. Spine nice and tall, arms up at shorter height, gazing over your fingertips. Just breathe, but relaxing your shoulders. Reverse triangle, straighten that right knee, send your left hand to the back of your thigh, right arm up, gaze up. Returning to warrior two. Now 
extended side angle. So placing the forearm of your right arm on your thigh. Use your left arms and up and over to create a diagonal line down your body. Turn your hand so that your pinky is facing towards the, the mat. And turning towards the floor, low lunge. You can place your hands on your right thigh. And our half split. If you need to, bring your blocks in for your half split. But from your low lunge, you're just gonna pull your hips back, flex that right, your right toes towards your face. Stay here or to, or to your fingertips. All right, now coming up, step in a bit and we're gonna push back up to standing. Arms up, now stepping your right foot back. Coming into your high lunge. and twist left arm down to touch the back of your right thigh back to center inhale warrior two make sure your knees over that heel and also make sure that your knee is pressing open, that it's not, you're not falling forward. Relax your shoulders, breathe. Inhale, reverse triangle, straightening your left leg, right arm down, left hand up, gaze up. Exhale down back to warrior two and extended side angle. So left forearm to your left thigh, right arm in a diagonal, pinky turn towards the mat. Turn facing the mat, coming down for a low lunge. And have splits, pulling your hips back, fingertips to the floor or to blocks, flexing your right foot. Slowly coming forward, let's come into tabletop pose. Now we will move into the restorative part of our practice. So 
Go ahead and grab your bolster. We're going to start with supported child's pose. Also your blankets. If you want to roll those on top or just stack them on top just to give this a little bit more height if you need it. Kind of make your feet, your knees as wide as the mat, your toes touching, your big toes touching. Bring your bolster in to touch your inner thighs and just slowly come down for child's pose. Keeping your eyes closed or soften your gaze. Slowly turning your head the other direction. And slowly coming up. So remove the blanket from the top of your bolster. I'm going to go for a lying side pose. So just kind of let your legs just kind of fall on each other, your knees bent. And bring your bolster so that is touching your right hip gently begin to lay over the bolster have a block you may need a block to rest your arm on you can lay your your head on your arm if that's comfortable or if it's more comfortable you can just lay your head directly on the bolster 
the left hand just on the floor. And relax. And slowly using your left hand to push yourself up. Very slowly, we're going to move your bolster or your blankets over to the left side. Moving slowly just to keep our parasympathetic nervous system stimulated for rest and restoration. Bolster to your side, bring it over. Just slow, slow steady breathing.
and slowly pushing up. Now we're going to take a fish pose for a slight back bend. So just turn your bolster and leave have a block there at the end of your mat. Your shoulder blades coming just off the top of the bolster. And a block to support your head. And you may have to play with the height of the block. However is most comfortable for you. Put your arms out to the side. Put your palms facing up. And relax. slowly begin to kind of roll yourself up rolling over from here go ahead and remove the block so take your bolster or your blankets come down to your back place them beside your thighs bend in your knees Send your hips over to the right, knees up, send your shins over. Just on your bolster.
Slowly bringing your legs back up, adjusting your hips to center, place your bolster on the right side, and sending your hips an inch or two to the left, legs up and over, shins resting on your bolster arms still in cactus. And slowly coming back to center, bringing your hips to center. Now let's move the bolster so that it's just like under your knees. Going into our final pose, Savasana or corpse pose. Slide your hands. Hands to lie open at your sides with your palms up. Kind of tucking your shoulder blades in a bit, adjusting your head so that your chin is slightly facing towards your chest. And here, just taking slow, steady breaths. Really just allowing your practice to sink in. Noticing 
those places that may have been tense in the beginning, kind of take notice as to how they feel now. Feel free to pause the video and remain in Savasana for as long as you need to. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. Namaste.